Hello and welcome to this video on the new reporting format used in the Carbon Calculator. This new report format differs from the previous template as it further aligns with DEFRA. The new reporting format used in the Carbon Calculator breaks up the metrics into nine tabs. Each tab covers a different theme of metrics that contribute to your organization's overall carbon emissions. For example, the Fossil Fuels tab contains a list of fuels, you can input data against the fuel types that your organization uses. The system will then calculate the carbon emissions associated with the types and amount of fuel used. The system uses conversion factors published by DEFRA, the UK Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs. These are updated annually. When you first access the report, you will be provided with the option to choose your reporting period. Currently, the reporting period can be set up to allow reporting from January 2018. When you first enter the Reporting tab, you will be met with the Report and Apportionment pop-up. This will need to be completed to calculate what proportion of your emissions can be allocated to your clients. To begin, click on the box and select all of your clients. You will then need to enter the percentage of revenue your organization does with each. The percentage of emissions that will be attributed to your clients is based on the percentage of portion to each client. Once you've completed this, click Save to close the box. You can access the apportionment box at any point during reporting to allow for any changes. To make changes, click on the Report and Apportionment button. Once you have made your changes, you can click Save to access the rest of the report. The first tab presented will ask for transport data. Here, the data is split into two categories or sections. The first of these calculates company transport and refers to mileage traveled in vehicles owned or controlled by your organization. This includes fleet, lease, and company vehicles. If you do not have the mileage data of each vehicle, an option to enter the quantities of fuels used is also available under the fossil fuel tab. Within the report and across all tabs, a red star is used to show mandatory metrics. Mandatory metrics require a value to be reported. If the metric doesn't apply to your organization, however, you can select the NA button here. This could be used, for example, if you do not have any petrol vans within your organization. You can find additional metrics that may be relevant to your organization via the drop-down box here. For example, you may want to report data on hybrid cars. To add this, click on the hybrid car option in the drop down and enter your data in the box provided. The second section in this tab refers to third party transport data. This includes data for travel in vehicles not owned or controlled by the organization, such as public transport, flights, and vehicles used to commute, but where the mileage or fuel is not claimed back. If at any point you are unsure what data is required for a metric, you can hover over the eye icon for further clarification. The next tab is for reporting fossil fuels. The data being collected here includes the types and amounts of fuels used by your organization, such as in day-to-day -day functioning, plant equipment, and in the manufacturing of products. This does not include fuels used in company transport if you have reported in miles or third-party transport data. As you go through each section, please ensure that you take the Mark section as complete once you've entered the data and completed the section. You cannot submit a report unless all sections have been marked as complete. You can see whether the section has been completed by looking at the symbol next to the name of the tab. A green tick represents the report has been complete. When a tab hasn't been interacted with, the icon shows as red, such as fugitive emissions. Where some data has been entered, but the section still needs to be completed, the icon shows as amber. The next tab refers to fugitive emissions. These emissions are often associated with leaks of greenhouse gases from refrigerants of heating, ventilation, and air conditioning units, etc. If you have data to report, you should select yes. This will provide a full drop-down list where you can select the gases which apply to your organization. Currently, the section is not mandatory. However, it is advised that you and your organization complete this. You may wish to note where any leaks have originated from by entering this information into the comment box located to the right of the metric. 
Comment boxes are provided throughout the report to allow any comments or information connected to a metric to be noted. In the Electricity tab, we ask you to input your energy usage in kilowatt hours. We also ask additional metrics on whether your organization purchases renewable electricity or generates any renewable energy, such as solar and wind. In the Materials tab, we ask you if your organization manufactures products or materials using raw materials, and if you use or handle materials in your day-to-day -day operations or services. If the answer is yes to either or both, we ask you to select the materials that apply for each and input the quantities used. Please make sure to input the correct values under the correct question. For the Waste tab, we ask if you collect or produce any waste. If you do, then the additional questions will appear which will help you report the right type of waste, the amount, and the destination of your waste. For example, for this organization, there is plastic waste which is sent to landfill. To enter this, I select the plastic waste metric and enter the value of this here. This organization also needs to report organic mixed food and garden waste, which is combusted. If the wrong metric is selected, you can simply click the NA button to overcome this. This will remove the requirement to enter a value. In the water section, we ask if your organization has any water data and the amount of water used during this period. If you do not have this data, we provide a space here to allow you to explain why. The Other Emissions tab is a new tab that has been added to the report. This section allows you to input scopes 1, 2, and 3 emissions that are not captured in this calculator, such as from investments in capital goods. You can enter the tons of carbon associated with these activities that you have calculated elsewhere. The Policy section allows you to record your targets, strategies, KPIs, and accreditations. You can add files as evidence by clicking on the Upload. Once you have added the file, please be sure to click Upload to ensure that the document is uploaded to the report. You can also report any carbon you have offset in this period under Question 4. The last section of the report is Company Information. Here we ask you to provide the number of full-time equivalent staff and your turnover for this period in pounds. If your turnover is calculated for dates different to the reporting period selected for your report, please leave a note of the dates your turnover is referring to in the comment box. We ask you to report your turnover a number of staff so we can generate normalized figures in the dashboards. For example, amount of carbon emitted per pound of turnover. This aligns with many reporting frameworks such as CDP. Once you have finished the section, your report will be complete. This is marked by the green ticks, which can be seen at the top corner of each tab. You can then submit the data. Once you've submitted the data, this will then flow to your company dashboard. This may take a few minutes to appear. The data will also flow into any clients you have apportioned data to, so please ensure that the data has been apportioned correctly to clients before submitting your report. Once you have submitted the report, the next report in the reporting period will be ready for data to be entered. Thank you for watching our sustainability tool video tutorial. If you have any questions, please contact us at infosustainabilitytool.com.